Hi, hello everyone. Today, we are going to download, install, and configure IntelliJ, so that it can work with Python. Open your favorite browser, I will use Edge. Type IntelliJ in the search field. Then hit enter. It should appear in the first result. Click IntelliJ IDEA to open up their official site. Click the download button. Here, you can see two choices. Ultimate and Community. Ultimate has many features but you need to buy it. While the Community Edition is totally free. Let us download the free version. Click to download. I already downloaded the file. So, here it is in my downloads folder. Double click to install. Click yes. Hit next. Hit next. Then next. I'm using Windows 10 64 bit edition. So, I will check mark the 64 bit launcher. If you don't know what version of Windows you are using, follow this. Check mark the dot java. Then hit next to install. The installation will take time to complete. It will depend on how fast your computer is. I will go ahead and fast forward the video. It's done. Check mark the run IntelliJ. Then finish. If this is your first time using this, then choose do not import settings. Hit OK. Hit accept. You will be given an option to choose which theme would you like to use. I prefer the dark theme. Then. Hit next default plugins. There is no need for us to change any of the settings here. Hit next. Then hit start using IntelliJ IDEA. You will see this welcome screen. Click Configure, then Plugins. In the search field, type Python. Then click Install JetBrains Plugins. You should see Python Community Edition. Click it. In the right pane, click Install. To install Python Community Edition, 
just to let everyone know that I already installed Python in my system. This will take some time to complete. I will go ahead and fast forward the video. It's done. Now, hit restart IntelliJ IDEA, for the plugins to take effect. You can also manually close it. Open it again. Click the create new project. As you can see, Python plugins has successfully installed. So click Python. You may have noticed that it automatically detects the location where my Python is installed. Which is good. Hit next. Project name, any name you like. Click this dots. You have the option to save it anywhere you like. I will save it in my root directory. I will make a folder named Python Programs. All my Python programs will be saved here. Click Finish. Python programs. Right click. Then new. Then Python file. You can also click file, new, then Python file. It's the same. Name the file. I will name it hello python. Hit OK. Let's test it. Let's write a Python program. To run the program. Either you click the run at the menu, or right click here and you will see the run hello python. There is also a shortcut key, by pressing ctrl plus shift plus if 10. And there you have it. It is working perfectly fine. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for more upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.